Ladies and gentlemen, Heart of the Earth is excited to welcome you to the new environmental TV game show, where good stewardship of the whole earth begins in our own community. And now, here's your sustainability host, Angela Hart. And welcome to the Environmental TV Game Show, where we have fun learning to take care of the environment. We're talking about sustainability, the environment, and we've wow. got the whole thing. <laughs> welcome. We thank you for being here. We thank you for watching. We thought it would be a good idea first to thank some people, such as Garden Side Up. They donated some souvenirs for you students. And Staples, Pie Pizza, Goodfellas Pizza, Stop and Shop and ShopRite, they're all donated and we want to thank them. And I want to thank Jeremiah Antonetti, our music director, and we want to especially thank Staten Island Technical High. I wish to thank Staten Island Tech for letting us film here. It's been such a pleasure. The crew is so professional. Frank Mazza for saying yes to this project. Thanks, Frank. So now we'd like to meet some of the players. And let's start with this team, this young lady. What is your name? Look into the camera. Tell them what school you go to and what you enjoy doing. So my name is Eliana Gomez, and I go to Curtis High School. Um, I enjoy drawing and dancing. Great. Hello, my name is Alexis Williams. I am from Curtis High School and I enjoy running. Yay! Don't run away until we're ready with the game. <laughs> okay, how about you? Hi, my name is Salma. I'm from Curtis High School. I enjoy visiting new places and writing. Is this a new place today for you? Yeah. Yay, we're glad you're here. <laughs> how about you? Hi, um, I'm Salali Camacho. I am also a Curtis Warrior. Um, I'm interested in medicine, but I love writing and dancing. What does Curtis Warrior mean for the viewers? Uh, Curtis Warrior, um, everyone who goes to Curtis, wh whoever is involved with Curtis, whoever is part of the Curtis family is a Curtis Warrior. Oh, I love this! <laughs> and who is this nice gentleman right there? Uh, hello, my name is uh, Chris Williams. I'm Nona Williams I works I'm the Staten Island Boy Scout Council President. And it's an uh, honor and a privilege to be here today. I hope I can help these young people win this uh, game. <laughs> yes. And Chris, we're so glad you're here because you're so involved with the community. Yeah. And this game is going to focus on community outreach. We're going to have members of the community from the business side to the student side and the professional side come on the game, give talks about the different topics, and share with the students and other families what we're doing for the environment. So having you here today is a real big pleasure for oh, us. And thank you. And your work you do with the Boy Scouts is terrific. You're also a Rotary. I think? Uh, yeah, among other things. Among other things. <laughs> and aren't you on the, in the Kiwanis Club? Uh, Rotary. Uh, the Rotary. The oh, Rotary Club. Okay. <laughs> We're glad about that. Okay, let's start on this side, <laughs> sir. Uh, hi, my name is uh, Richard Thomas. I go to uh, Wagner High School. I love playing sports and I especially love to do karate. Well, what about competing in games like this? You like that? Oh, yeah. All right, chop chop. <laughs> if you don't win, you're going to get a chop chop. Okay? <laughs> okay, how about you, sir? Um, hey, I'm Robbie Germano. I love Nicki Minaj to death. And Mr. Rose, my favorite teacher, and Nikki all day, every day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a mouthful. How about you? Hi, my name is Mira Matthew. I'm a Wagner Falcon, and I love learning new things and dancing. Wonderful. And how about you? Hi, my name is Sydney Poindexter, and I like to sing, and I like to listen to music. Beautiful. What do you like to sing? Like all different types of songs. Anything favorite? Favorite song? Mariah Carey. Her song. So maybe one day you'll come on the show and sing one of your songs. Maybe. That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to hear you. And how about this nice gentleman? What is your name and what do you really do? Hi, my name is Dr. Mark Salemi. I'm owner of Northside Animal Hospital. I'm a veterinarian here on Staten Island. Um, I, uh, I'm very active in the veterinary community and I love helping kids learn about veterinary medicine and helping the community. And, Doctor, you're also with the Boy Scouts? Yes, I am. Tell, me, tell us about it. My, both my wife and I are Cub Scout leaders, um, and uh, we just started up a new troop in our town in New Jersey. Beautiful. What town is that? Uh, Woodland Park. Beautiful. So, you see, we have these community people. I just love it. And now we have a very special speaker with us today who graciously agreed to come on and teach us about medicinal plants. And I've learned a lot watch, reading her material that she's going to speak about. Tell us your name and where you're from. My name is Gert Coleman. Um, I live in Princess Bay, Pleasant Plains area on Staten Island. I'm a, a professor of English at Middlesex County College over in New Jersey, but I also take care of the uh, herb garden down at the conference house. Um, Staten Island Herb Society uh, is one of the groups I'm with, as well as Friends of Blue Heron Park and Protectors of Pine Oak Woods. How many people know about Protectors of Pine Oak Woods? You're familiar with it. 
Uh, that's great. And Blue Heron Park? How many people have been there? Well, these nice gentlemen, how about the kids? We've got to get you excited <laughs> after you hear about what this nice lady's talking about. You're going to want to go there. Where do you learn what she's got to say? So let's hear it. Are you ready? I'm ready. Great. I'm let's ready. learn. Okay, so at the, herbs, at the herb garden that we take care of down at the conference house, 70 by 70 feet big, which uh, is quite big for a garden, and we have well over 100 specimens. And it was started to show, because it's a, a, a historical preserve, the conference house is the only site of, of an attempted peace treaty to stop the Revolutionary War. And it failed. So that's why they called it the conference, because the British and the Americans came together to confer. So now it's a historical site, one of the jewels in the Parks Department's parks on Staten Island, the very end of Highland Boulevard. And we uh, grow herbs that would have been used in the colonial period, as well as herbs that we continue to use today. And we grow herbs uh, for culinary purposes, that's for cooking. We use them for medicinal purposes, to heal ourselves inward and outwardly. We use them as ornamental, and we also use them in industry. We clean things with them, and we use them as scents and so forth. So what I've got today, I'll show them to you just holding them up, you won't get a chance to look at them until later, are the kinds of herbs that you have in your house, in your own spice cabinet, your own herb cabinet, you have a lot of medicinal remedies that could be good for emergencies or just from useful things. So um, the kinds of things that we have here uh, are things like chamomile. What is that good for? Now, chamomile is very good for skin. Uh, you can make a tea of it and put it on, on like itches and burns and uh, scrapes, and it's particularly good for sunburn. And you can drink it, um, usually you just buy the tea bags and you would drink it as a tea, and it's very good for helping you to relax so you can go to sleep. It's helping, it's a, it's a mild analgesic, which means it's not as good as Advil, but if you had back pain or neck pain or you had hurt a sports injury, you could drink some chamomile tea and it wouldn't interfere any, with any medicine you might be taking. It would help you relax. A lot of, uh, a lot of cosmetics have chamomile in it uh, to take makeup off or to ease skin, okay? And I will tell you, it really does put you to sleep. My husband and recently we were out taking a ride to go somewhere and he was really getting sleepy and he figured out when we got back later he said you know I drank that chamomile tea mm -hmm. and it's supposed to put you to sleep and relax you and it really did work so and it really does work yeah and, and if you're seriously stressed um, it might not work that night you mm -hmm. might need to take it a few times mm -hmm. but if it's just a little tiny stress where you just want a little help a cup of chamomile tea will do it but if you've gotten yourself into a really stressed situation studying for the SATs oh, or yeah. worrying about college applications it took you a while to get that stressed it takes a while to get unstressed, so you might want to drink chamomile tea maybe one or two cups a day, a couple of days. Uh, and it will help, it will help eventually. And even if it gives you a little sleep, that's better than no sleep. Yes. Um, other things, uh, a lot of the herbs, uh, we can tell a lot about herbs um, <coughs> from how we use them in cooking. And even though we think that they're culinary first, many of the things in our foods were there first for medicine, right? We've never been very good uh, as humans about eating the right things, and we still aren't. So something like fennel seeds, these are the, some of the most popular herbs on Staten Island. Okay, so fennel seeds, do you know where you've ever seen these? I know there's some Italian kids here. <coughs> We're in Staten Island. I've seen them in the supermarket before. You've never, you've seen them in the supermarket? Well, like wait that. a minute, yeah. what food have you seen them in? Yeah, what food Does would you see these? Italian? Does anyone know Italian? Does anyone know? Do any of the grown-ups know? Oh, no wonder. Okay, so sausage. sausage. No, it's so it's Italian long. sausage. Yeah, yeah. Italian yeah. sausage, it's usually that little curved seed in there that most, my, I know my kids didn't like it because it was too spicy, grown-ups like it later. Mm -hmm. So it's in there for flavor, second, but first because it's a very good digestive herb and um, sausage and hot dogs and things like that are really high fat, high sodium and they're sometimes hard to digest. Um, Indian restaurants on Staten Island at the as you leave they have little bowls of fennel seeds to chew on as you leave. Mm -hmm. um, and they also are a very good weight loss remedy. If you were to take this and make tea out of it, you could drink three cups a day. And for about a month, you would start to lose water oh. weight, and your body would be really happy. And then about five weeks, it says, oh, wait a minute, I know what's happening here. And then it stops working. All right, so fennel tea. <laughs> That's great. That's and terrific. another seed that, um, that really works for digestion is dill seed. And we usually see dill on like salmon. In fact, they sell salmon usually with a piece of dill on it. Um, and it's used in breads and eggs and so forth. But the seeds, the Norwegians and the Scandinavians use it a lot on their breads and things. But the seeds are um, also good for digestion. And if you make a tea of these and, ch and drink it, um, you might want to chew the seeds afterwards because they are the second highest um, 
seed containing calcium, mm -hmm. second only to poppy. And women and all of us need calcium in our bones to help us relax, to grow our bones, um, and women particularly need it uh, for bone growth. So if you were to use this, you would want to chew the seeds. And they don't taste awful either, you know. <laughs> so that's always very good cool. to know. Um, lavender is a very nice herb. How many of you have had some kind of lavender scented things? Okay. Um, Hopefully it was real lavender and not the fragrance lavender that's, chem you know, synthetic. Um, lavender is both a culinary herb. We put it in herb de Provence. We put it in creme brulees. You can make teas out of it. We generally know it first, though, because lavandula, that's the Latin name, and you can, the Latin names tell us what the plants are good for. Lavandula means, like the lavatory, to wash. Oh, very interesting. And um, it was discovered, because it's a Mediterranean herb, it was discovered in Italy and France with, where the lavender fields were. When the women would wash the clothes in, in the streams, it was always cleaner where the lavender was. Oh. And they realized that the lavender petals in the stream were helping to wash. So lavender essential oil or lavender teas and so forth uh, can clean areas. We can spritz a room with it and take out um, like bad smells and germs and so forth. Um, and so lavender is really good for that. Lavender essential oil, where they distill it into a fine oil that you can buy a little thing of, um, is also good for, is a burn remedy. You put it right, it's the only one you can put right on your skin. It's a good burn remedy. Um, and it's also very, very good for relaxing, for calming, and for easing pains, particularly pains caused by stress. Wow. You know, I wasn't going to do this, but you, you got me so excited. I have to smell, smell it. Okay. Yes. Now you have to smell that. Let's you pass, want to pass it around. around. It's beautiful. You can even take a little pinch of it if you want. Yeah, your that's terrific. Thanks and for it's bringing a, and that. And it's this beautiful it's to be made color. into a tea um, for aches and pains uh, also and for digestion and cramps. And uh, bay, because it too is antibacterial, can be, if you made a tea of it and just put it into your cleaning water, you could wash your floors with it. Um, and my favorite use is that bay leaves um, have something called lauric acid, which repels bugs, particularly mm -hmm. cockroaches. Mm -hmm. um, she, um, she's, what you would do is you would put, you could wash the walls with the bay leaves, with the bay water, but you could just put bay leaves just wherever, you think, insect wherever you think they're coming in. Beautiful. And a lot of people put them in um, in their cupboards. My mother, I was mortified growing up. My mother would always put them in the cupboards. You'd open a cupboard and some stupid bay leaf would show up. And <laughs> I, a stupid cockroach. And I wished at the time, I remember thinking, I wish she would just, you'd raid like all the other mothers. A bay leaf in your cupboard will deter weevils and all sorts of insects. So um, if you have to worry about if you if you go away to college, you might want to know these things for you know for clean rooms. Beautiful. Okay. Cool. So all right. So other things, peppermint tea we often use uh, to calm our stomachs, um, but peppermint um, and any of the mints. Uh, it's always in toothpaste and gums mm -hmm. and mouthwashes, and it's not just for the flavor. It's icy. It stimulates digestion, um, but it also kills germs. So even though Listerine says it kills germs, it's really the mint in there that's killing germs. Okay. Interesting. So we have that. Um, herbs are, um, when we talk about herbs and spices, herbs are the green part, right, and the flowers. The herbs, the green leaves, and the flowers, right? And um, some things like fennel, where's my fennel? The fennel I took seeds, it when you started, okay, I the seeds okay. would be considered the spices. So anything that's woody, the roots, the bark, uh, cinnamon, for example, is the bark of the cinnamon tree. That's a spice, okay? But they all come from botanicals. And about 80% still of medicines around the world are still based on botanicals, and they're still taken from leaves and roots and so forth. So things like roses, which we tend to just think of as beautiful ornamentals and Valentine's Day gifts and so forth, uh, roses are very high in vitamin C. We can eat the rose petals both dried and fresh in our salads. All, all roses or just some? Um, I would only use roses that I know that are not treated. Right. right, so if you get okay. them from the florist, they've probably been sprayed with insecticides or pesticides okay. and so on. But if you get organic roses or you're growing them in your yard, if they're... F well, so we got a signal that we're running out of okay. this time. All right. Is there anything in the questions that you think you need to mention to them? Um, this um, plant, savory, is a lovely... We use it in cooking and so forth. But in the garden, savory, if you were to get stung by a bee, if you were to take a pinch of it and rub it on, uh, it would ease that bee sting. I'm not sure I covered everything, so we may have some bonuses here. That's right, like we did in the last game. <laughs> okay, All right. now we're ready. Were you listening? Are we ready? There we go. Here, let's start on this side because last okay. time we started on that side in the okay. last game. We you don't had. have to spin the wheel. No, not to start. Okay. Only when you get it wrong, I spin for the other team. Okay. Name four uses for herbs. Okay. So. Mm -hmm.
like toner. Yeah, it was a toner. Okay, uh, what, do you want to answer the question, the captain? Okay, so skin toner, medicine, um, food, and drink. Okay, good. Yay, Yay. one yes. point. So you marked down one point. That's a great point. Yes. All right. Go, oh, we get to keep the I'm, I'm score. <laughs> See, I, didn't, I didn't tell our community green partners that they were going to be stuck keeping score. There's always a surprise on this game. Okay, we're going so to still with this group. Yes, okay. we're always going to have speakers and topics that you're not going to expect. We're going to have uh, gifts and presents for people that the sponsors are going to give us in the future. And you'll go home with little goodies. So it's going to be a surprise all the time. So we, we roped you guys in, and you're being good sports. We appreciate it, Chris and Dr. Salemi. <laughs> Okay, what is the difference between an herb and a spice? Okay, so an herb is like um, flowers and, and leaves. And, and, leaves. Yes. Leaves. and a spice this comes like the bark. Yeah, it yeah, comes the bark. from the bark and like the yeah. root. Yes. Okay, yes, very Yay, good. Yay, another one point. point. Okay. Um, what health aid is mint used for? Okay, it's um, to it's yeah. to the stomach for mm -hmm. digestion. Yes. That's it. Okay. Digestion into fresh breath. Yes. You Beautiful. Got yeah. So that means they're not lying when they use say it's good for fresh breath and then clean <laughs> germs. <and all. laughs> right. The advertising is real in that case. Okay. You got three right. So what does this mean? It means you go to a purple question worth ten points. <gasps> okay. True or false? Mountains exist on only half of all the continents. False. 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 That's a correct answer because they exist on every continent. <laughs> okay, good high fives. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> okay, we love it. True or false? You can find different ecosystems as you climb up from base to the peak of a big mountain. True. Truth. True. Yes, that's another 10 points. So 10 for the first one, Chris, and 10 for the second one. <laughs> okay. The highest mountain in Greece is named Mount Athens. True or false? Yeah, I think it's false. False! You're right! Another 10 points! Great. True or false? Yeah. Volcanic activity created most of Africa's highest mountains. Uh, Africa. False. Africa. False. That's like Hawaii. Yeah. Hawaii. False. I'm sorry, you're wrong. Oh, it's true. Can you believe it? Okay, so this means really? it's time to spin. Yeah, Great. it's true. <laughs> I found it on the internet. There you go. <laughs> Was so, it a Scala site? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, now we spin the wheel to find out what happens to this team. One, ten. Oh, one, the green partner okay. gets to help answer one of the one-point questions. Right. Okay, we ready? You're ready. All right, so what health aid are fennel seeds good for? Fennel seeds would be good for it. Can we get a little? I'm trying to think. I'm too fennel. Um, okay, time's up. Oh. Skin. What's skin. 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 No, that, that yeah. one. Can we steal? <laughs> 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 We're going to save yeah. that. Don't, don't tell them the answer. Don't tell me. Okay, we'll hope it. All right, we'll hold on. So because you got it wrong, we go back to the Steve uh, with a one-point question, okay. and that's one of yours. All right, so now it's them. Yes. All right, what health aid are dill seeds good for? Oh, come on. Oh, it's good oh. for digestion. Digestion. Curtis does it again, another point. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, so recycle the question. That one I yeah. So that one I yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, what vitamin do, or, or supplement, or mineral, let's call it mineral, what mineral do poppy seeds have? Calcium. 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 Yay! Good. Three right in a row. So this means you go to a purple question. Yay. Worth 10 Yay. points if they get it right, green partner Chris Williams. True or false? The two tallest peaks in Mount Africa are Mount Kilimanjaro and Mount Yenka. True or false? Mount Kilimanjaro. I know what Kilimanjaro is. Kilimanjaro definitely is. I don't yeah, know about I don't know about the other one. Mount Yenka. I would say true. Oh, it's false because it's not Kenya, which sounds like Yanko. So oh, you didn't get the 10 points. Oh, it was a 50-50 shot. Yes. Wow. <laughs> and now we're back to this team again. Who are we playing over here? Wagner, you all have your shirts on. That's great. Yeah. Okay. One point question, doctor. Get ready to keep the score because they're going to get this right. Okay. So what, all right, what health aid, what medicinal use does chamomile tea have? Oh, yeah. It, it helps relax. 
Yay! Yay! And you got it. You got it. That's I know it. you remember that because I told you that my husband almost fell asleep when he died. That's right. Okay, now, what skin remedy can chamomile tea be used for? Wasn't it like, uh, no, it, was, it, wasn't, it was like when you get like the sun, sun sunburn, 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 sunburn. Okay, that's all of these. Yes, oh, you got yeah. it. Yeah. 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 I got a point. Well, by oh, skin not. rashes, yeah, nice. uh, toner, yeah. and skin rashes. Yeah, very good, very good. I'm so listening. <laughs> <laughs> um, listening. <laughs> all right, we didn't, I didn't, this is a bonus question. Okay. I didn't do this. Okay, so this, what does that mean? It means they get, um, they get a half a point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now that you know what chamomile can do, mm -hmm. okay, if you were to put chamomile tea bags, wet chamomile tea bags, uh, on your face, what do you think it would do for puffy eyes? Wait. Make this one. Yeah. Yay! She got it. Okay. Yay! Okay. You get a point. You were so good. You got the point. Um, now, what can a plant's Latin name reveal? What do you what do? Yes. Yes. Good. Yay! Yes. Is that yes. 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 Well, yes. well guess what happens now? We're up to the ten point. Oh, oh purple, a green purple Let's mountain question. Uh oh. Right. Let's see if you know the answer to this question. I have a blank page. <laughs> <laughs> so do we just get the ten? Do we just get the ten? <laughs> <laughs> bonus. You know what? Yeah, bonus half point. <laughs> <laughs> what percent of the Earth's landscape to the mountains make up? What percent? Okay, um, percent? I'll give you three percent. choices. Is it one fifth, two fifth, or one tenth? One fifth, two fifths, and one tenth. I think it's kind of the ocean. Most of it's ocean, but yeah, yeah but, but there's mountains in the ocean now. There are. Yeah, true. Yes. Yes. It's true. Okay, um, so it's one fifth, one tenth. Okay. I say one. Is it one fifth, two fifths, or one tenth? One what percent of the world's population lives on mountains? Two. It's tricky, yeah. One fifth, two fifths, or one tenth, two fifths. Two fifths. Oh, really? And the answer is? Two fifths. I'm sorry, it's one tenth. One tenth? Oh, really? That's yeah. a trick question. It's hard to imagine. Yeah. Okay, this means we spin the wheel for the opposite team to see what happens to them. Ooh, the scarf. Yeah. <laughs> I think from now on when we spin the wheel, we'll clap it, and that's going to be edited out. <laughs> <laughs> when the wheel's going around, let's clap, okay? okay. So, what did we land? Yeah, the stick went away. It fell off. It fell off. It's on the two. It's on the two? Yeah, but it's on the two. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's right. We'll just use that. Okay, it's on the two. It's worth two points. Um, and so, it's your question. What okay. two points? So, for, t for two points, what three uses does lavender have? Okay, to make things smell like no better. Smell good. Yeah, good. They clean. clean. Yes. And yeah. can't you also put it on skin to s soothe skin and like burns and stuff? It's the only thing you can actually put straight on your burn. Your skin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. That's three of them. That's it. Yay! Now, you got it. Okay. And now you go again with another one-point question. Um, all right, this one we didn't do. Okay. Okay. Let's hold off on that one. <coughs> um, what are? This is the kind of repetition. Can we do another question? Okay. Okay. Um, right. What health aid besides the burns can lavender essential oil be used for? Fragrance. Yeah. Oh, it's healthy. Healthy. Maybe if it cleans, it must be antibacterial. Do you want to ask your green partner? Yes. Antibacterial. Okay. We can go with antibacterial because that's true. The answer was ease tension and tighten muscles, but it is true. Because you're not tense, so you don't remember that. Only people who are uptight and they want to know about relaxation are going to remember that it's going to relax their muscles. Okay, they got a point for that. Did we get three no. just then? No, that's two. Two. That's so two. one more, and then they get okay, the couple Okay, so um, name two savory and two sweet dishes that bay leaves could be cooked in. Oh, soup, stews, stews. Okay, stews. Okay. Soup, stews, cake, and creme brulee. That's it? Yay! Curtis Warriors, now you're up for this question that's going to be a Purple Mountain question. How many feet tall is Mount Everest? Is it 15,221? Is it 29,036? Or 34,567? Uh, yes! Yay! Yay! Ten points for the Curtis smart. Warriors. They call you that for a reason. Okay, so we have another minute left. True or false, the tallest known mountain in the solar system is Olympus Mons on Mars. Is it true or false? What was the question? The tallest known mountain in the solar system is Olympus Mons on Mars. Is it true or false? What's the matter? Have you been to Mars before? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, every Martian knows this. I, I, I can help them? Yes. 
the largest mountain is on Mars. I don't know if that's the name of it. Oh, um, <laughs> that's very interesting. He knows that. So, <laughs> okay, is it true or false? And this is worth ten points. Okay. Right. True, yes! <laughs> you see, it helps to have green partners. Well, okay, so we're going to close up now, and we really are glad everybody came today. Um, how are we doing with the score, sir? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 56, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We got rock. <laughs> <laughs> 56, 4, 7, 8, 59, 6, 61. And the winner is Curtis, yay! Yeah. Thanks for watching. Please what don't test the lines. Good job. 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 Good job.